Let me tell you a story from 30 years ago at the shack of a building in Kerala, India. A couple came to see me. I was just uh, about to light a fire in the cooking place uh, in the smaller of uh, two rooms in that shed, which was a designated kitchen. A bigger room with a table and a couple of chairs was the party center and also my dining room. I was uh, up there to establish a new parish. I got a degree in theology and another one in philosophy, but uh, not in any other discipline. As new there means um, almost everyone, including this uh, couple who came to me, are also new to me. But the lack of familiarity did not stop this young man from making an unusual request. He said, Father, I am an alcoholic and I know it is winning my family. Father, help me to come out of my alcoholism. I never consider myself uh, competent enough to treat alcoholics. And I made it very clear to him. I told him I am only a priest. But my declaration of incompetence uh, did not stop him from uh, sticking to his uh, plea. He said, Father, you can cure me. Are you willing to help me? Tell me about it. That made me think. I was reminded of uh, the leper telling Jesus, if you want to, you can cure me. Gospel of Mark. 140. After all, I am here to do Jesus' job. So I took the challenge and it benefited not just that one man, but uh, Many others, 17 of them, were able to wiggle out of uh, their alcoholism with that uh, program I offered. They could uh, make a new start in their life. That became a good news. They could see the world around them transformed. According to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 to 45, a leper, someone who was an outcast in the Judean society, came to Jesus and said, If you want to, you can cure me. Such was his faith and trust in Jesus. When that was matched with the, the willingness of Jesus to minister to him, it uh, made him whole. That became a good news, not just for himself, thereafter it was a good news for many others. The world around him was transformed. 
That is the good news. When I say this, you may recollect events in your life where someone came to you seeking help. Though you don't count yourself as a miracle worker, out of compassion, you reached out and helped them. It could have been loneliness or someone going through a time of depression or a, a troubled marriage or a, someone who was let down by a trusted friend or a, loneliness it could be anything but uh, your willingness to help them in their misery listen to, listen to them and uh, touch their lives made a big difference in their own lives and they could see the world around them transforming. You were uh, Jesus-like, Christ-like to them. When is the last time you can think of being Christ-like to someone?